Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to add a glow effect to a text layer that reacts to an audio track. So here we have a text layer that we've added a glow effect to by going to Effect, Stylize, and Glow, and we've altered the threshold, radius, and intensity to show the type of glow that we want. So next we right-click on our audio track and select Keyframe Assistant, and then Convert Audio to Keyframes. This creates a new layer called Audio Amplitude, which houses these keyframes. Now in this example, we just need to reference the keyframes under both channels. We want these keyframes to manipulate our glow threshold value, so we'll set a keyframe for glow threshold by alt-clicking or option-clicking on the stopwatch. Now an expression for glow threshold appears, and we can pick whip from here to the audio amplitude both channels slider. If we play our timeline now, we'll see that the inverse is actually happening. We're seeing the glow on our text when there are low or no sounds versus the louder sounds. Now this is because glow threshold shows more glow when the value is lower, not higher. It works in the inverse. In order to fix this, let's find what the value of the slider is at a peak audio wave. So we move over in our timeline and look at the value. And here it's about 17 or 18. So we can use this to alter our expression. Here, if I type in 30 and subtract the rest of the expression, at this high point here, 30 minus 17 will give us 13 for glow threshold, and 13 is a value that gives us a perfect glow threshold to show the glow we want in this instance. So this would be relative to what you need to do in your specific composition, but as you can see here, it's quite simple to have audio keyframes control our glow value, even if the value we wish works on the inverse. Thank you.